Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning English. This is Colin. Hello, everybody. This is Nora. 欢迎大家收听早安英文 Hey, Colin. What's the longest word you know? Pneumonia ultra microscopic silicon volcanoconiosis. What? Pneumonia ultra microscopic silicon volcanoconiosis. Oh my God! It's longer than a sentence. How do you use it? You know.、Um, I've never heard it used. <laughs> I guess a doctor could say, "I'm sorry, Miss, but you have pneumonia ultra microscopic silicon volcanoconiosis." <laughs> it sounds ridiculous. So, how many letters is it? It's forty-five letters. And what does it mean? 就你刚刚有说到，这是一个医生会说这句话，那这就是一种病喽。Yeah, yeah. It means a disease to the lungs caused by breathing in very small particles of ash and dust that、uh, originally came from a volcano. Ah, okay. 就是由火山的粉尘和颗粒导致的一种肺部的疾病啊。I would have never guessed that. Why not? Should have. It breaks down easily. Hmm. What do you mean? Okay. Okay. It's. Pneumono.、Mm -hmm. That means something to do with the lungs. Ah, pneumono. This is pneumonia. It is related to the lungs. Like pneumonia, it means pneumonia. Right, right. Okay.、Um, pneumono ultra. Ultra. The next word is ultra. That means extremely, very, very extreme. Right, right. Okay. Microscopic. Microscopic. 就是非常小的 ，tiny, very small. Silico, silico, like、uh, silica, 微土是一种沙石 Volcano,、uh, that's easy. Volcano, 火山 And coniosis,、uh, that's one that's hard. It means、uh, scarring. Hmm, I see. Coniosis, ah,、uh, 指的就是伤痕 Okay, so、um, why don't you have a try? <laughs> Okay. Pneumonia ultra microscopic silicon volcanoconiosis. Pneumonia ultra microscopic silicon volcanoconiosis. Great! <laughs> yeah, I've learned a new word. Well, a new word for you, but I've known this word since I was a kid. <laughs> but you know,、um, there are new words all the time, and it can be really tough to keep up with them.、Mm -hmm. For example. If I call you a wordy, do you know what it means? Wordy, um, is that like foodie, someone who loves food and is very interested in different types of food? 那 foodie 就是吃货，所以 wordy 就是很喜欢玩那种文字梗的人了。Yeah, yeah, you got it. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm a wordy. So let's take a look at some new words today. <laughs> okay. So Colin. 像我们刚刚讲的这些词啊，在词典中都能够找到吗 ？Well, not all of them, but for example, pneumonia ultra microscopic silicon volcanoconiosis is in the dictionary, but no one uses it. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> sure, but I don't think wordy is in any dictionaries, but it's actually used quite often.、Mm -hmm. You know, native speakers don't care what's in the dictionary and what's not. Yeah, and I guess with social media, new words can spread really quickly. Okay, let's hear one. All right,、um, let's start off with an easy one.、Mm -hmm. This one has been around for a couple of years, and it's in some dictionaries. Hangry. Hangry. I know this one. It's becoming angry because you're feeling hungry. 就是 hungry. 饿和 angry 生气的结合，那这个时候用的时候就是指饿肚子，然后脾气特别不好的时候。Oh, that's right. You see, Nora knows that one because she is often angry. I am not. Whoa, whoa! Calm down. Here, have something to eat. Shut up. <laughs> you know,、uh, for guys, we associate angry with girls. What? 为什么这个词就主要跟女孩子相关 ？Isn't that sexist?、Mm, yeah. Well, no. Look, if I'm hungry, I eat.、Mm -hmm. But it seems that you know girls are always on some kind of diet, so they make themselves hungry. 
Mm, okay, I guess that's a little bit true. But I don't get hungry. 一般我饿了我就吃了 Of course you don't. Now please don't hit me again. <laughs> Let's move on to another word. Okay. All right. How about、uh, this one? Look, it's also in the dictionary. At least the British ones, and it's only a few years old too.、Um, glamping. Glamping. That sounds like camping. Oh,、uh, it's definitely related. Okay. Let me guess. Um. Glamorous camping. Yeah. Uh, 就是指的那种比较豪华的露营了 So it's like camping. But with a hotel, five-star hotel-like service. Ah, so real beds, restaurant, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah.、Mm, do you like that? Uh, I like it a little in between. Um, 就是两者的结合 How do you mean? Well, um, more like a cabin in the woods or a, like a beach hut. I don't want to sleep on the ground in tents, but I don't want restaurants as I can barbecue.、Uh, Be more private. No hotel style services for. Okay, 就是那种小木屋啊，然后或者是在沙滩的一个小棚子都是没问题的，但又不是那种非常豪华的酒店，或者是直接睡外面。嗯、um, ，That sounds nice. Okay, let's go to another word here.、Um, bingeable. So this one is turning binge into an adjective, right? Yeah, yeah. Any occasion where an activity is done in an extreme way. Um, especially like eating, drinking, or spending money is called a binge.、Mm, a binge. 这个词啊，它本身指的就是狂欢放纵，可以指大吃大喝、花钱如流水等等。So we can have shopping binges, eating binges, and Colin likes to go on drinking binges. Hey. <laughs> 所以我们刚刚说的其实就是形容词啊 ，bingeable, something worthy to binge. 值得狂欢的东西。Right, right, right. Like、um, maybe、uh, these potato chips are very bingeable.、Mm, so if you start eating them, you will keep going up. 就一开始吃就停不下来。Yeah. Or、um, oh, Game of Thrones was a bingeable show.、Mm, so you can watch many episodes in a row. Right. And I guess beer is bingeable for you. Well, not all beers. Really? Yeah, some beers are delicious, but maybe they're very strong, or they have some special flavor where you only drink one or two.、Mm, how about and other beers? Well, there are several that are very bingeable. <laughs> you like them all. 反正只要是啤酒，你就喜欢。嗯嗯。Okay, our next word is rando. Rando. 这个单词我还真没有听过。Sounds like random. Ah, yeah! I finally got you. <laughs> A rando is an unknown or unexpected person. For example, some rando stole my wallet last night. All right. 所以这个单词指的是意料之外的人。嗯 ，like strangers. Yeah,、uh, usually, but sometimes you might call someone we know a rando. For example, if you walked into my favorite bar while I was there, I might say something like, "Hey, Rando, I'm surprised to see you." Ah, because you 没有想到会在那个酒吧见到我，所以我也是一个 Rando。那只要大家，嗯，说到没有想到的人，意料之外的人，都可以用到这个词。Right. So all of these words are in the dictionary or not? Well, it depends on the dictionary. They are not in all of them yet, but they will be. Hmm. 好了，那我们今天呢就学了很多有意思的词啊。And that's all the time we have for today. Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。Hey Randos, thanks for listening. This is Colin. This is Nora. See you next time. Bye.